have a foam attack. It's supposed to be over here. pressure washing the planter today so if you remember we had a big hydraulic hose leak on it uh, we did get it fixed but there was a lot of hydraulic oil left on the planter so we have a foam attachment which I can show it to you better later but on we have a foam attachment on the pressure washer right now and right now we are just foaming the planter up and we just use regular soap Dawn dish soap on this and it cuts through the grease really well and as you can see the foam attachment is doing a great job so hopefully this will get rid of all that oil that's on the planter We are going to just let it, we're going to get the whole thing with a bunch of foam on it and then we'll let that soak for a little bit and then we'll come in and rinse it off and hopefully it'll get all that hydraulic oil off. It is the next day now, so yesterday we pressure washed the planter. Uh, we didn't really do much else with it except for pressure washing it today. We are going to be working on the tractor some. So up where you actually hook the hydraulic hoses up to the tractor, uh, it leaks pretty bad. So we're going to be working on that. We think some seals might have gone out, so we're going to try replacing some seals and see if that fixes it. Okay, uh, so what we're, we've experienced is we've got a leak on our hydraulics and it's leaking when there's hydraulics connected which tends to make you think that it's the outside seals on the SCVs back here so I'm going to show you a few things here and then I'll show you some things up there we've taken the covers off these are the rings we took out the o-rings we took out and it's been a little retrofitted to where that's what we're going to be putting in so it goes in this way this goes into the tractor front side this goes in the back and it is a bearcat to get done and um but that's we've got all six of them out i've got one replaced but uh we'll come up here and look now okay so like i said we've had we've got the backs off and um picks uh o-ring picks work really good uh so so a set of o-ring picks is going to be your friend if not you can do it well if you can get them out it helps the o-rings but you can put them back in with some small flat points and i'm going to show you all it's all the way let's see how close we can get so i'll try to get some light it's all the way up here so that's that one's in and you can see there's a little recess way in there so it's actually even with these tips. So you can see the, just, it's nearly impossible to show you. But it's all the way, even with that tip straight down, there's a cavity. And you have to put that O-ring and that washer in there. And it is a bear cat. It's difficult. So we're going to rebuild all six of these, see if it helps our leaking. 
If not, we're going to have to start rebuilding some internally, So, which we can. But that's what we're working on. We won't bore you with it, but that gives you an idea of what's going on. When you, what you got to do is just sho shove it back in there. And, and, and you can see, look at it squished back in there. Can you see that? And you just kind of shove it in there. Get it all packed in there and then start working it down into the groove. Last one. Yeah, it'd probably be the hardest. You'd think <laughs> I'd be the most professional on this one, but no, it's probably going to be the hardest. Okay, uh, we got them all on and we're testing them out, so. We'll see if we got it fixed. I don't know. Okay, so Dad, we tried it without the hoses being hooked up. Dad says that if it was something where the hoses needed to be hooked up for it to leak, then that should have fixed it. But if it had started leaking when the hoses weren't hooked up, then that would have meant something internal. So it didn't start leaking while the hoses weren't hooked up. So we don't think it'll start leaking now, but we'll see. So we've got the hoses hooked up. I don't think it's leaking. I think we're good. All right, we have got the planter finished up and put away. It is done for the year. Um, another little bit of news that we have is Penelope hatched some chicks. So if you remember last year, she attempted to hatch some chicks, but was not successful. The eggs were rotten. Uh, so we ended up buying some chicks for her to raise. But this year, she actually hatched some all by herself. So you can watch some footage of that. So they are doing great. They are a few weeks old now. Uh, they're doing really good. She's doing a good job of raising them. Hi, Abby wanted me to <clears throat> give you a quick explanation of what happened with Jocelyn's knee. We had a little short, quick video of just the actual uh, putting it back into place. So we put it back into place. Uh, um, that was on Saturday. We put that out, and you might have seen it. And um, she wanted to show you a little bit more of it and have a little explanation. So we <clears throat> were doing morning chores, and it was actually Saturday. <coughs> and um, exactly one week before we published that quick video and she was Jocelyn was playing with the dogs and she had the dog's toy the dog kind of jumped and landed into her knee and at the front of her knee and uh, twisted I guess maybe twisted her leg or something and just twisted the patella the kneecap off the front of her knee so it was kind of nasty Jocelyn Emma came running in and said hey Jocelyn's uh, down she got hit by Bo and her kneecaps out of place so um, Jocelyn isn't naturally calm and composed she is calm and composed by willpower and uh, maturity and she was crying but she did a good job just she was calm and so we you, you can see on there we snapped it back into place and um, it's just sore for about a week and she's doing much much better now and we might show you a little bit more of the actual video but um, when the joint is dislocated in this case the knee way more painful when it's dislocated once it pops back in instant relief but still sore tender I mean like a like a severe sprain at that point so I think Abby will show you the dislocation again and maybe a little bit more and kudos to Jocelyn for doing such a good job and being so tough.
we get it straight, it's gonna help. Jocelyn, get, get a picture of this. Or we can take a look at this so she can see. It's supposed to be over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike your leg. It's gonna hurt. So you just don't, don't, don't be too dramatic. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Uh, it's a little bit of a miscellaneous video, but I still hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.